My name is Grant Collier, studio head of Infinity Ward. For Call of Duty 4, we have continued on our technology that we created for Call of Duty 2. The graphics are just coming alive in Call of Duty 4. There are 2,000 less polygons in all the characters in Call of Duty 4 than there were in Call of Duty 2. I mean, the normal maps are just that good. So you're seeing a real rich improvement in the technology, and it's really driving it forward. And it's going to be one of the most technically advanced games coming out. Back during Call of Duty 1 and 2, we were very hardcore about making sure that we hand animated everything. But now, with the immense volume of animations that we have in Call of Duty 4, we really had to rely upon motion capture. It's our first time doing it, and wow. I'm Vince Sampella. I'm the co-studio head at Infinity War. We have a highly advanced animation system built from where COD 2 started, but then added on top of that layers of translation and movement. When you come up to a corner, you'll approach it the right way, your feet will move the right way, you'll slide into the corner the right way and appear around it so that everything is tied together in a smooth, believable, realistic human fashion. With Call of Duty 4, we've spent a huge amount of time with the lighting. So now you see, not only will the character create a very detailed shadow on the wall behind him, he will also self-shadow. You'll see the arm will cause a shadow on the body, and as the arm moves, the shadow moves. Our effects artists go into the levels, and they just look at the level from everything from a garbage can that might have a fire in it up to a giant explosion or a smoke effect or wind. There's dust rolling through the streets. There's papers flying by, things that would make it come to life and be more believable. You can even be playing multiplayer, and people are launching off RPGs down hallways, and they're exploding, and trash is flinging around on the ground, and that smoke is sitting there and lingering, and it just makes you feel like you're really part of this war-torn battle. Here we go. There's a wave. Where's the wave? Hot damn. AC-130 level is not a trick. It's an actual game level where you're flying above real-world geometry. If you were to fall out of that plane, you would fall to the ground. I mean, everything's there. There's real AI down on the ground reacting to what's going on. It's a really exciting level. When we started out developing Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, one of the things that we really wanted to set our sights on was to become the most visually graphic video game on Xbox 360 and still have it run at 60 frames per second. So you're getting these awesome, beautiful graphics and the fidelity does not drop. You're in a battlefield with explosions happening left and right and you see 20 people on the screen at one time and it is still going at 60 frames per second.